things got a little bit more escalated, so that's Taylor 2.0. Good morning, everybody. I hope you're doing. Wait. Minasan konnichiwa, Taylor desu. I saw this app the other day on Sora News, and my entertainment was like, yes, you can finally have the body of your dreams. You need to try this out. You can move with it, and it can move with your face. Would you guys watch this if I kept going on like this for the rest of the day? Good morning, everybody. It's actually quite late in the day. I was editing all this morning, but uh, now I need to get ready because I'm going to an event in Hong Kong. It's the Guerlain event, so I am going to take you guys with me. I'm going to get dressed now, change my makeup up just a little bit, like my lips and maybe add some eyeliner or something, get dressed, do my hair, and then we're gonna head out. put those whitening strips in and then go about their life like they aren't even there like my best friend can do it she picked me up when I was in Toronto last time and she had a whitening strip in her mouth and she could talk she could do everything <laughs> you're what <laughs> I don't know I, I'm not one of those people that's gifted with that talent I guess how did she do that there's so much spit and like build up in my mouth I can't I can't like swallow when they're in for some reason. I feel like I'm swallowing chemicals. So I just... All right, so I think my hair is pretty much done. I don't know. I'm going for this wavy, messy look. I think I'll just get dressed and then I'll fix the last pieces. Honestly, it doesn't matter what I do when I go out in Hong Kong humidity. It's all gonna fall later. I'm gonna do a gold lip today. I'm wearing, I'm wearing something I normally wouldn't wear. It's so hard to do eyeliner when you already have mascara on. I probably should have just started over. Ugh. I'm drawing. Drawing on my face? Yeah. I need to make myself look good. I almost like don't want to go now. I hate the pressure. It's a red bay. I know, but it's like bringing back like flashbacks. <laughs> like I don't know anybody, and then and I feel like my hair is not good enough. My eyeliner is not straight. I'll just cover my face with my hair, like I always do. And my makeup doesn't need to be straight or even. <laughs> All right, makeup and hair is done. Now I need to get changed and I'm wearing something I wouldn't normally wear. I feel like I haven't worn anything like it before. It's pretty sexy. Probably a little too sexy for me. It's definitely too sexy for me, actually. I'm wearing a thing on the inside. You'll see what I mean in a second. I wore a tube top on the inside. Actually, this is usually completely open and see-through, this middle part, but uh, I don't feel that comp comfortable wearing it like that so I just threw in a little tube top and one question I have for people is I don't get where they put their underwear with these tight dresses like you can see the lines 
and if I like move it up, you see the lines because this part's see-through. If I move it down, you see the lines. And I don't want to not wear underwear because that would be really uncomfortable. And also I had this thing happen to me before in Hong Kong at an event where there was mirrors placed on the floor. I don't know whose fault it was, but basically when all the press photos were released, you could see up under my skirt. So thank God I was wearing underwear. So I've been scarred for life for that reason. So I'm always careful about what's underneath my skirt. Yeah, <laughs> that happened to me. I decided not to go with the hot pink lips. But this dress was given to me by the store on Queen and they they gave me a code for 15% off if you use the, if you, you can use Tay Tay for 15% off. I'm sorry, I've become that person, but I don't, it's not an affiliate link or anything. I don't get anything out of it. So if you like this dress or you're on their website, they ship overseas and you see something you like, then use that code, get 15% off, why not? So thank you to them for this dress and yeah, giving you guys a little discount if you want it. This is gonna be my first big fashion event back in Hong Kong. I'm on the toilet, but the lid's closed. Um, since moving back to Hong Kong. I've been to a lot of events before, but I've been kind of out of it since I lived in Japan for three years. I haven't really gone to anything here and I feel like a lot has changed since then. A lot of people have changed. I probably won't know many people so I have to sort of climb my way back up again and I'm pretty nervous because it's weird. I'm, I'm a really shy person actually. When I first meet people, I'm really shy. If I know you well, I'll open up to you. But and, and on camera, I can do things like maybe I don't come across shy on YouTube, but I am like alone in my room most of the time or I don't know. It's weird on YouTube. I can do it. I don't know how to explain it. But in real life, when I'm face to face with people or like, yeah, these events where you need to make small talk and like go up to people, I just can't. So I'm always like, uh, I don't know, I'm so, so nervous to go to these things. At least I'm not going alone. Um, I should know a couple people there at least, so that will help. And I, I've been to so many nice events in Hong Kong and like have really happy memories. But I also had a couple negative times. One was the one I just mentioned and another one. Basically, at that time, Basically before I left, I had started YouTube here just a little bit and a little bit of social media so I had a bit of a following and I was into the, the I was in my dolly face, Taylor 2.0 I guess it would be and um, so my agency at the time would send me to events and how it would work here was if your agency wanted you to get a bigger name or get more media attention, they would kind of slide you in with um, one of their more famous models and you kind of tag along and ride their coattails, I guess, to um, some events. So there is this one model with my agency. She's beautiful, she's so kind, she's nice. She let me go along with her. I just remember one specific time I went to this, I forget which brand it was, some high fashion event and models here all dress very well and a lot of nice jewelry and really beautiful fashion and I showed up in my Liz Lisa dress and I just felt very judged. I remember like usually I would go on and take a picture like a press photo with the model I was with or something and then when I went to go do it I was stopped and they kind of just let her go ahead and held me back and I remember this person looking at me and looking up and down looking at my shoes and being like oh cute shoes and then like <laughs> So I just, I just always remember feeling super uncomfortable because I'm not the most outgoing. I won't just go up to people and talk to them if they're complete strangers, even if I want to. And um, I didn't always blend in fashion-wise. Um, I don't know. I just... Ugh. So I'm like getting back into it again. This is a completely different style than I left Hong Kong with. Um, but I'm still a firm believer on wearing what you want to wear and doing what makes you feel comfortable and doing what makes you feel happy. You don't have to care what other people think of you. I completely still believe in that and I still am going to go in with that attitude. Um, yeah, I don't know. I'm kind of running late too. I just have these thoughts stuck in my head like nothing's good enough. My hair, my makeup, my clothes. It's like something about this stuff. And I'm clear, I'm, I'm totally overthinking it because it's not even gonna matter and no one's even probably gonna care at all. But. Let's go. 
look okay? Yeah, it's pretty. Really? I don't know why I don't feel pretty. <laughs> I was like trying to think of so many excuses not to go. Why? I don't know. Something about Hong Kong events gives me anxiety. You have to make it like a breakthrough day. Go kill it. Arrived at the event, here it is, and here's me standing in the corner looking all nervous and awkward until I saw someone I knew and that broke the ice so I started feeling a whole lot more comfortable. Honestly, I don't know what my problem was today, but yeah, it got a little bit easier from there and I ended up having a lot of fun. Here is what the event looked like. really chill. It was, I don't know why I was freaking out. I told you. <sighs> I survived my first event in Hong Kong. How are you? Up. I got this in the goodie bag. Apparently this serum works wonders. All the makeup artists use it here. And you use it under your makeup. It's like two drops of this oil and your skin becomes so smooth. So I cannot wait to try that. First things first, I'm gonna get out of this dress. I can't wait to eat, breathe, and just be comfortable. It's pretty, but it's tight. It's 11. I'm having my dinner finally, which is just yogurt and granola and blueberries. My boyfriend's been obsessed with this lately and now he's gotten me into it. And it's so good, you have everything inside. Crunchy, sweet, and creamy. And creamy. And then you got all the nuts and seeds and goodness nutrition. And I'm also having, I had a huge bowl of papaya. I've been obsessed with papaya and dragon fruit lately. I eat a big bowl every day. I'm also having that. I already had the papaya. Now I'm going to have this. And my rose is here. What is it hot? Is it hot enough? I'm sleepy. 
and I had such a nice night. I got to see a lot of old friends and people I've worked with and meet some new ones. And I don't know why I was so scared. The first um, event is always the most difficult, but it was really chill actually. I think beauty events are pretty chill here. So I've heard, but a lot has changed since I last went. It's been three years, so yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Alright, I guess I'm gonna I'm gonna end the vlog here. So thank you so much for watching. I will see you guys in my next video. Bye!